Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Gabe, which is another fan TV. Back at you another video. If you like the content of this video, go ahead hit that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Um, training camp is here. Been the first three days. Day four is going to be at the, um, the open practice at the stadium today. Um, should be a good time, but that's not what I'm here to talk about, right? I try to stay away from Greg Groman as a topic just because it's generally negative. Right, I'm not trying to be too negative about the Ravens, and but I did mention a little bit of what Greg Roman said yesterday in my previous video about training camp day three with the one on ones. Right, he did say Lamar Jackson throwing the ball better than ever. He mentioned Ben Powers, right? But what I didn't see was attached to that uh, he's throwing Lamar Jackson throwing the ball better than ever. Greg Roman had a second part in there, and this is from Ryan Mink, right? So basically, what what Roman said was. Uh, Greg Roman says Lamar Jackson is throwing the ball the best I've ever seen him throw it, right? Says he could call the game differently this year because of it. <laughs> and when I first saw this comment, I thought I was misinterpreting what he was saying. But no, it sounded like he was actually saying the fact that now that Lamar is throwing the ball better, maybe I can actually open up the office and pass the ball more. And... This is I'm I'm trying I'm not trying not to rant too long. This is one of the most ridiculous comments I've ever seen Greg Roman make. All right, to paint the picture as if Lamar Jackson his throwing ability was the reason that you ran the ball so much was the reason that three wide receivers line up in the same spot uh, when they ran their routes. You know what I'm saying? Like you got you got two guys running streaks on the same side of the field. You got guys running hitches all all in a line in a bunch. Like that's Lamar Jackson's fault that you was doing that. That 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 these concerts aren't good. I gotta watch Steve Smith call you out. I gotta watch Kurt Warner. Not not and you know Kurt Warner didn't do it like how Steve Smith, Steve Smith did it. Kurt Warner broke down film and said these concepts aren't good. Receivers end up in the same area. What is Lamar Jackson supposed to do with this? But it's Lamar Jackson's fault. Okay. 2019, we already know MVP season, 36 touchdowns, six interceptions. You couldn't open the offense up after that? After week one in Miami, he goes off, those are 300 yards. We could open up the offense after that. Next week, we the Cardinals. Has another great passing game. We couldn't open the offense at, after that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going through and just looking at the season. So, Lamar Jackson goes to uh, L.A. You know, the Jackson 5, as the, as the, uh, the announcer called it. We couldn't open the offense up after that. Continuously, it's like for Lamar Jackson to get their disrespect in the media is one thing. That's their job. They they want to create clicks. Lamar Jackson's name creates um it creates buzz, it creates traffic to their websites. Do what you gotta do. I mean, it's slimy to me, but whatever. Do what you gotta do. But Greg Roman, bro. Greg Roman. Greg Roman. You work for the team. Now, maybe when he said it, he didn't mean it like that. He didn't think of it, it would come off like that. But it's still an ignorant ass comment to make. I'm sorry. It just it, it really is. And it and <laughs> it bothered me deeply that he made that comment. I mean, we see we see the throws Lamar Jackson makes. In 2019, I was in the stadium when they played the Jets to, to secure the AFC North. Uh, uh really to secure the whole AFC as number one seed. I would see him making that throw to uh to to, to Hollywood Brown the back in the end zone. And like this dude is an amazing passer of the football. 2020 didn't have the greatest numbers. Okay, sure. Right? But, you know, Stanley goes down and everything happens like that. But one throw from 2020 that sticks out into my mind. We were playing to, well, watch the football team at the time, but now the commanders. Lamar Jackson gets pressure, rolls out to his left, and throws the ball on a rope to Mike Andrews for a touchdown. You see this guy make this kind of plays over and over and over and over again, and we're going to have the nerve to say that, oh, yeah, well, now... I can open the office up now because, you know, he's, he's, he's really throwing the ball now. Like, dude, you haven't opened up the office anywhere you've been. Whether it was Colin Kaepernick, whether it was Tyrod Taylor. You've never opened up the office, quote unquote. Last year, and it's crazy that he even said this because last year was the closest he got to open up the offense. The Ravens were, I believe, 54-46 um, run. I mean, a pass, I'm sorry. Sorry, they passed well 54% of the time, 46 run. And they had, honestly, one of the best pass offenses I've seen the Ravens have since probably Flacco in the year he had with Kubiak. The Ravens passing offense last year was so 
it was so dynamic compared to the previous two years that it was almost unrecognizable what, what they were doing. I mean, we're talking about games like the Ravens lost the game to the Raiders. They did, obviously, because the O-line and pressure like that. But Lamont Jackson threw the ball great in that game. I'm going through the schedule. I'm just looking at the schedule. Kansas City game, threw the ball great. The Detroit game, he threw the ball great. We know what happened with Hollywood in the drops. I mean, you go through these games, he's throwing the ball great continuously. The Colts game, I mean, we come back down in the fourth quarter by multiple scores off of Lamar Jackson's right arm and some good special teams players like, you know, blocking the field goals by Calais Campbell. And I think they missed one as well. But off the strength of Lamar Jackson's right arm. And now we're going to say this offseason, this is the time where you can say, yeah, now I can open up the offense. Like, dude, are you like, are you hearing yourself talk right now? That doesn't make sense. I mean, <laughs> Lamar Jackson, right? Um, I guess technically he was actually he was seven to four as a starter, right? Because, uh, you know, he played the Steelers game and then he missed the uh, he missed the Bears game with Tyler Huntley, you know, and the Ravens won, okay? But this dude was the MVP candidate. He was MVP candidate, top two or three guys in the league with him, Tom Brady, and, you know, whoever you want to throw in there, what was that? Cooper Cup, right? Um... Those were should have been MVP candidates at the time when Lamar Jackson had went down. <laughs> so you're telling me this guy who was in the race, right? Not not because of his legs uh, last year, but because of his arm, you couldn't open up the offense then. I, I just don't understand the point Greg Roman was trying to make by saying that I could call the games differently this year. You should have been calling the games differently after he won the MVP. You could have called the games differently during the MVP season when you realized, whoa, this kid is special. He can really throw the football. I mean, I even go back to 2018 in that freaking Chargers game, right? Chargers game was ugly. It was one of the worst Ravens games I had to really sit through. And the fourth quarter happened. And, you know, you could say the Chargers was playing prevent defense. And he was giving up completes, blah, 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 whatever. Lamar Jackson started making the throws that mattered. And the Ravens almost came back. I know at the end of the game, he got strip sacked and that ended, that ended the season right there, right? But the point being was, you see the potential to throw the ball, right? You know that he comes from college where he ran a pro-style offense. This offense that you got him in is not even the offense he ran in college. He ran a more advanced passing offense in college with, with, uh, under Bobby Petrino. So for Greg Roman to say something like, now we can open up the offense. It really bothered me that he said that. Or or, 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 now, that we, or now I could call the games differently. Bro, you could have called the games differently immediately. If that's what you want to do. If, if that was on your mind, on your, if that was your prerogative, you could have called the games differently a long time ago, dog. Lamar Jackson showed you who he was at first Miami. 2019, first game of the season. He showed you who he was passing the ball. He's only gone up from there. So I just don't understand the, yeah, now now I can call the game differently. You know, maybe I can do certain things. You're the same guy where multiple times last year, third and four, third and five, I had to watch you call QB draw. I had to watch you call QB draw. Like... <laughs> Uh, and, and, and pray and bank on Lamar Jackson's physical ability, his physical greatness that he can get the first down instead of trusting him to do what he does best, which is throwing the ball from the pocket. Yes, that's what I'm going to say. That's what Lamar Jackson does the best. Yes, he throws the ball from the pocket. He's a gifted runner. He may be the greatest runner, greatest quarterback of all time. I don't really care. He is an exceptional quarterback. And Greg Roman, don't act like your scheme is the one that lifted him up. He lifted your scheme, bro. So, I, that that comment got a lot of people up in arms on on, on Twitter, and I, I, I'm one of them. Like I said, I try to stay away from talking about Greg Roman because it's nine times out of ten is negative, and I really don't like being overly negative, especially about the Ravens. But when I saw that comment and what it insinuated, it's like I had to speak on that. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the comment, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.